So I've given you a quick overview of our ZR1 here, just how it sits, how it's the most dominant production car that GM has ever built. We'd like to get you some more details about how this engine puts out 755 horsepower, just the ins and outs of the engine, as well as the incredible Brembo braking system. So I'd like to bring in Boomer, our chief engineer here. <laughs> Hey, hi everybody, how's it going today? We thought we'd just uh, break it down for you a little bit because you know, even when you see these things at shows or on the TV or whatever, wherever you get to actually, if you're lucky enough to see a ZR1 in person, of course it's got this giant carbon fiber cover sitting over the supercharger. So what we did is we unbolted it for you and we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna let you see the inside or underneath here of what we got, okay. Uh, the heart of this motor, this uh, big LT5, is, I mean, this is a, still a small block Chevy motor, but this is a 2.65 liter supercharger. I, I mean, that is a, that's a lot of supercharger. So, uh, obviously, it does, it does give off a lot of heat. The halo hood here actually helps keep this thing cool, um, along with uh, Chevy added, I think, four more uh, radiators to this car so now in total to keep this beast running in that 200 to 210 uh, degree temperature range uh, you've got 13 total heat exchangers in this thing now That's so incredible so there's water running everywhere in this thing and it's I mean it's in the ducts out the ducts around everywhere that they can put a heat exchanger to try and keep the, the temperature down on these things they've done it um, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful setup. Uh, it's, a, of course, a two-belt drive system. You've got one, one belt that drives your supercharger. You've got another belt that kind of runs around and drives the rest of your accessories. Um, but that's how you get, you know, these kind of huge numbers, 755 horsepower, out of a small block push rod Chevy. I mean, it's... It's, this, is a, this, is a, uh, this is a modern miracle of technology, I do believe. Well, one thing that I've read is that, you know, the top speed is 210 miles an hour on a ZR1. Yes. And they tout that it can run for 200 miles an hour for an extended period of time. So with all those intercoolers, you definitely need to keep the engine cool. If you're gonna run 200 miles an hour for 20 minutes plus, it's pretty amazing what the engineers at, at uh, GM did here to build this engine. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a ton of work that went into this, obviously. Um, every time Chevy puts out a new ZR1, it's, it's gotta be over the top. Oh yeah. You know, so, you know, they do it, and they do it every single time, time after time. This thing is over the top. I think this car was actually originally designed to have the new 10-speed transmission in it. But because of the size of the car, the size of the motor, it, it just wouldn't fit. They couldn't right. cram it in here. So it does have an 8-speed transmission. Uh, but you know what? It's, it, is, it's, it is unbelievable technology to take a, oh, what, you know, what, how old are, are how old is this motor now? The, uh, about a year old, two years old. Yeah, like. no, I'm talking about the, the Chevy small block motor. The first ones came out in the, uh, I think in the 50s. Um, and it's, for all intents and purposes, it's still the same basic motor. It's, right. a, it's a push rod piston motor. And, you know, of course, Chevy's done lots of upgrades. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, uh, the LT, uh, the LS motors and now the LT5 motor, I mean, just, an amazing, amazing array of mechanical and, uh, and electronic technology. Well, they say too, this is the largest Corvette motor that they've ever put in a Corvette, and that's with the blower. So the blower adds the extra space, like you said, the yep. extra coolant, but this is the largest, most powerful engine that Corvette's ever produced, and I think it is a piece of art. You know, when you pull up the car shows, guys are gonna love it. Uh, you know, even oh, yeah. though that carbon fiber piece really does hide the mechanical out, uh, aspects, it's still something to marvel over. And, you know, we're excited to, to have this as a giveaway. Uh, you know, it's a piece of art as well as a oh, well, yeah, sure. well equipped machine. And let's switch gears, let's start. Well, hang on, well, before, we do, before we switch sure. gears, let's right. do this. Since, we, since you talked about firsts, yeah. okay? Um, this Corvette, this 2019 ZR1, most expensive Corvette that Chevy's ever put out. Yep. Okay. It is the fastest Corvette that Chevy's ever put out. It is got the most horsepower of any Corvette that Chevy's ever put out. 
and it is the loudest Corvette right. that's ever been produced by GM. A lot of firsts here. Great. Um, the, but, most, the most carbon fiber that was ever put on a GM product. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, just amazing, amazing. So uh, I think you, from that, you wanted to transition into like stopping power to bring all this, this big beast down, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about brakes. 15-inch um, carb carbon ceramic brakes all the way around. Yep. The great thing about having a GM product is they're mass produced. So they're not that expensive if you do need to replace them because a lot of guys are going to take this on the track. But these are the real deal brakes. Yeah, these, uh, are, these are Brembo's. They're six piston front, four piston rear, 15 and a half inch drilled carbon ceramic rotors in the front. I mean, when you step on the brakes in this thing, uh, you better be wearing a seatbelt because if you're not, uh, you're going to be have your face pressed up against the windshield and whoever was in the passenger seat is going to be buried in the dashboard. It stops that well. And these Br uh, Brembo's, they're, I mean, it's an amazing brake and that's why I understand why Chevy used them on here. But they will stop time after time after time and, and with no fade. You can, right. you can run these as much as you want to run the motor. You can run the brakes as well. You can get them hot, you can heat them up and you, you don't get any fade out of them. Absolutely amazing, and, and to have those come stock on a car nowadays is, is something of an engineering feat. Be, before, you know, only top-end exotics, high-end European cars, you know, that were extremely expensive to replace, you know, are now stock coming from the factory. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you think about this car as an entire package, all right, um, yeah, the car is, like we said, it's the most expensive Corvette ever built, okay, that, ever, that GM's ever put out. Um, it's a $150,000 ballpark car, okay? Depending on what you have done to it, all right? But this car will go out all day long and it will run right. with the top that Ferrari puts out. It will run with a Bugatti. It will run with a McLaren. It will, you know, you name a supercar that, that everybody likes and thinks about. You can put this car either on a drag strip or on a road course and this car will, 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 will keep it or beat it. Right, 100%. Just an amazing, amazing piece of engineering. So that wraps up our review on our 2019 ZR1, half of the grand prize in our Corvette Dream giveaway. And now we have a treat for you, what I call our crown jewel of the Corvette giveaway, our 61 Resto Mod, absolutely to die for. And we have Boomer here to tell you all about it. Boomer? Hey, thanks a lot, Blake. I appreciate that. Uh, now that Blake's taking you through the ZR1, I just wanted to walk you through our beautiful 61 Corvette Resto Mod. This is an absolutely beautiful car. It's finished in tuxedo black. All the chrome, all the badges, all the bright work on this car has all been refinished. There are no nicks in it at all. It is absolutely perfect. So what I think I'll do is this. I'll start uh, up front and I'll, I'll work the way through and we'll just hit everything as we kind of go along. So one of the first things that you see about this car, which is absolutely fabulous, is it has a beautiful hydraulically opened hood. Uh, you know, when we talk about this thing being kind of an over the top resto mod, it really, really is. So what you, where you get it, where you start at is right here in the, in the engine bay. You've got a brand new LS3 crate motor this motor makes about 435 horsepower. It's fitted to a brand new 4L80E automatic transmission. Uh, so this thing runs and drives beautifully. It's like a brand new Corvette. It's got a, every, I keep saying it, but I'll say it again. Everything on this car is new. Every nut, every bolt, every fastener. Um, every piece for the motor, every uh, piece of rubber, it's all brand spanking new. So it's, it's going to, I mean, if you wanted to use this for a daily driver, which you, you could if you wanted to, you could do that. That's how nice this car is. That's how well it performs. Um, so, you know, first thing you notice, obviously, is it's running on C5 wheels. Uh, these are your standard 18-inch C5 wheels, uh, all C5 running gear up front. Uh, you've got a monoleaf posi-track rear end in the rear. 
Now, one of the great things about this is underneath this car is brand new as well. It's not built on a 61 frame. Uh, the, there's a company out of Dallas-Fort Worth called uh, Corvette Corrections, and they build chassis for these C1s. Uh, and it is a beautifully, beautifully engineered and designed chassis. So you've got all brand new C5 running gear hung up underneath this thing. It does have the IRS, the independent rear suspension in it. Everything that was bad about those old C1 uh, uh, frames about you know, getting your suspension aligned and getting everything hung right and nothing ever kind of fit you know, really great when you took it apart and put it back together. All of that has been engineered out with this new chassis. I mean, it is a thing of beauty. Uh, so you come up from there, obviously the body has been completely refinished, uh, finished in this beautiful black. I cannot find a blemish in this paint job anywhere. Even inside the engine bay, it is absolutely flawless. All right, you can see as you come down the side of the car here, You've got four-wheel disc brakes. They went for kind of that retro look on the brakes. They're not drilled, they're not slotted, they're standard Chevy uh, with, uh, with your uh, two-piston calipers front and rear. It's, it's just a, it's a nice brake setup and it's gonna work really well for you. So, um, a nice little touch that they left in it is uh, your, I mean, obviously the car has air conditioning, but it's still got the old, you know, the old style air conditioning, as I call it. It's got the little flap that comes up in the front. You push that thing up, it'll run fresh air into you on your feet. Uh, I think that's a beautiful touch on a car like this to leave that thing functional. It looks exactly like a 61 interior. The gauges are beautiful. They're classic instruments gauges. Uh, so they're all updated. They all work. Everything reads the way it's supposed to read. Your fuel is correct, your water temp is correct, uh, your oil pressure is correct. All works like it's supposed to. They all read fantastic. Um, when you fire up the car, it all comes right up. This car does have air conditioning in it. Uh, air conditioning is down on the center console here. It all works beautifully. Blows cold, comes on every time, Fans, fan motor works, it's gorgeous. It has a, what's called a Wonder Bar radio in it. So it's an aftermarket radio. It's got Bluetooth connectivity. So you can get AM, FM. You can connect your phone to it if you want to listen to your phone on a long trip. Uh, of course, it still has just the one speaker up front. But you know what? If you really wanted to invest some time and money, you could probably change that if it's yours. And it really is. Remember, it can be yours. Um, love the old classic touch of the of the rear view mirror mounted up to the dash. That's a really nice throwback touch there. And then the shifter itself looks like a little four speed or a three speed shifter. That's a low car shifter, that's your automatic shifter. And it is absolutely gorgeous, works really, really well. All right, uh, as we work backwards again, top on this thing, really easy. Press the button, pull it up, brand spanking new top. Everything in this car has been refinished. I'll show you just here in just a second. You pull the top up. There it is. Absolutely br beautiful brand new top. Folds right away. And closes back down. Everything else on this car is absolutely perfect. Uh, like I said, the chrome, the lights, everything else. So remember, go to dreamgiveaway.com. Get your tickets for this car. Uh, your, obviously, your money goes to help seven great charities. Uh, and, you know, this is the second half to what Blake talked about earlier as our you know, 2019 ZR1. To be quite honest, either one of these cars would be an incredible prize on their own. But Whoever wins the 2019 Corvette Dream Giveaway is going to get both of these beautiful cars. Thank you for watching our review of our 2019 Corvette Giveaway. What do you think, Boomer? Heck of a pair of Corvettes. This, I mean, when we talk about doing a Corvette Dream Giveaway, if this isn't a Corvette Dream Giveaway, I have no idea what is. Yeah, and it is our largest investment we've ever done when it comes to Corvettes, guys, because these two cars, I mean, you have the show stop in 61 Crown Jewel, 
a 2019 ZR1, you can't go wrong. Very true. I mean, these are both beautiful cars, brand new, high tech, 61. Can't say it's low tech because it's all updated. It's a brand new car from front to rear. So I mean, either one of these cars, I'd be proud to drive around every single day. Absolutely. And for you guys taking a look at this, there's a special promo code on the bottom here. Make sure you use that when you're watching this review. You'll get bonus tickets into our giveaway. Make sure you check it out, dreamgiveaway.com. Help out seven great charities when you enter to win. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully you got excited because one of you out there are going to be pulling these cars into your driveway next February when we hand the keys over here in Clearwater, Florida. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Best of luck. All right. See you next time.